Hello students, welcome back to the art studio. Today we're going to be drawing a cityscape from a bird's eye point of view. There are a few items that you're going to need. You're definitely going to need a good straight edge or ruler, something that you can trust. You'll probably need a pencil sharpener. Um, I think I usually am not a fan of these mechanical style pencils, but for this drawing, this is a very precise line and it'll work really nicely. Pencil sharpener, because I think a, a sharp pencil for this drawing will be very helpful. So if you don't have a sharp pencil, you might want to pause and get these tools and get this all organized. Piece of drawing paper and an eraser. So I've laid out what I view as a cityscape from the bird's eye point of view. Bird's eye point of view above looking down on a city. So I started, you guys have this Google document, I started by just laying out what is my city block grid. So I have several of these shapes just resting here on the paper. Now we need to make this look like it's in space. We need to make it look like a city. It doesn't look like that at all. It just looks like a, a third grader's uh, geometry homework. So what we need to do is process how our eyes view objects in space. When we look at objects in space, they disappear into space. They vanish. So something that is close to us looks large, and something that is very far away looks small. Now one object that is close to us at our eye perspective, where we are, our point of view, it's close to us in one place and can be very distant when it's far away because it's a large object. Uh, for example, these, what are going to become buildings, they disappear, they fade into space. So I'm going to start up here and I'm going to make that fade and disappear into space. Now we're going to use this point called a vanishing point. Now that vanishing point is going to be our reference that we're going to use again and again throughout this drawing. So I'm going to start at this corner and I'm going to play a simple game of connect the dots from the corner to the vanishing point. Now this is going to be a very precise drawing. The way you start your line and the way you end your line is important. These should be very tidy marks. So I'm going to go around to this corner. Clean starting point, clean ending point. Now I can see that I have a problem here. I'm going to go from this corner to the vanishing point. However, my building is going to be hidden behind this building. That's actually great. What that does is it creates the illusion of space. And that's what we're doing here with this perspective drawing. You can see that my building is already starting to emerge. Now when I finish this top edge of the neighboring building, that makes this one seem more complete. I'm going to turn my paper, and this will make life easier for me. If you're drawing along, get your ruler and make these marks with me. Definitely not doing these corners because we can't see them. They, they are hidden inside of the building. Is interesting I like the way these two buildings are going to layer so if, if I go from this top corner down toward the vanishing point always hitting the vanishing point you can see that this 
smaller rectangle is going to look like a building sitting right in front of the L-shaped item. Don't forget this corner, it's very important. Corner goes from the roof to the ground. Lining up with my vanishing point with each and every mark. That's how we get that illusion of space. It's a nice taper. So let's look, look at this. Hopefully you can feel like these are forms growing and coming up out of the paper. Hopefully you're feeling that. Every time I've done this drawing, I feel like I've missed one of my corners. I don't think I've missed any spots this time. So I'm going to flip my paper once again and keep going. From this far left, what is now a left corner. Vanishing point. From the corner to the vanishing point. Corner to the vanishing point. From the vanishing point to the edge where it touches, where it disappears. Again, if you miss that. From the vanishing point all the way up to the roof where that line segment touches. corner, the vanishing point, now that building is going to hide most of that mark, that was an easy, quick mark, Twist my paper once again. Make life easy for myself. This corner. Down. The vanishing point. Now I'm going to look at all of my corners and make sure I haven't missed anything. All of these should be flat planes. That looks good. Now I want to give my city some life. So I want to give it a street and maybe some trees. So I'm going to come down all the way, top to bottom. I'm going to come in a quarter inch from the vanishing point. I'm going to move it a quarter inch to the left. The ruler is about separated that far. And then I'm going to pull line. From the right side, I'm going to move my pencil in a quarter of an inch. I'm a right hander, so I'm going to flip this. That same equidistance from the center point. And I'm going to pull another line, making a street view of a street. I want to get in here and clean up all of those stray lines. Of the buildings on the street.
I'm pretty satisfied with that. Now I'm going to pull my buildings back away from the street. So I'm going to hand draw a line that separates the building. This one's fun because it repeats this arc. Another fun one. Keep that the same distance from the street. But this one also, you can see this wall comes down. And we get to draw the ground level. And I twisted and turned, twisted and turned my paper to make that an easy, easy mark to draw. I want to do the opposite side of the street. Pulling this back from the edge, back from the edge. Here's a little trick. You can take your ruler and lay that over the mark that you want to protect, and then you can erase. That's pretty pretty tight area down in there. It's not working all that smoothly. Some pretty fine marks. Now there's some other other ground level lines that we need to pull. This one angles straight toward the edge. This one angles back. I would like a, a broken line on my street view. So I'm just going to pull a quick dotted line down through the center. And hopefully, I'm going to turn this right side up. Hopefully, this is starting to look like a, a cityscape to your eyes. We're going to pause there, we'll make this part one, and we'll come back and we'll add more details in the future. So, this is part one, to be continued. Thank you for joining me, artists. Hope you have a good day. Keep drawing.